what I want to do today is just speak of a trend. It's always existed, but it's feeling more prominent today than ever. And it's what is required for you to actually succeed, make margins and be irreplaceable regardless of the industry that you're in. And I wanna speak about these theories where you have to identify what is the thing that most people in that specific industry want to do the least or is perceived as the hardest to do is oftentimes where the opportunity lies. I was speaking to a group of coaches yesterday, which were life book coaches, and I did a hypothetical type of study. I said, Imagine that I am somebody here who has went out and gathered a hundred leads that have paid me already and are looking for coaching services. They want to be able to have a coach to guide them through a transformation. Who would be wanting to take on these clients? Of course, everybody raises their hands. And I said, great. Who here would love to be paid $100 to be able to take on these leads that I've already sold to and are ready to be coached? Everybody still raises their hand. And I'm like, great, well, wow, now I have hundreds of coaches to choose from. So I said, well, who would be willing to do it for $50? Majority of the hands still stayed up. See, these people were at the early stages of their career. And quite frankly, when we're looking for the experience, we're willing to compromise on our fee if we get to have a client that invested and is excited to work with. So I said, okay, who would do it for $20? A couple of fans went down, like your, your, your pride and your ego kind of gets in the way and you're like, I won't do it for $20. And so a lot of people brought their hands down, but there were still a few people that had their hand up. And so I said, who would do it for free to get the experience and become more confident in doing coaching? A few hands remained up. Now, I didn't push the exercise towards the end, but I could have even said, who would be willing to pay me $50 to get the opportunity to coach a lot of these students so you can gain a lot of experience, build up your case studies and testimonials so you can feel more confident and competent as a coach? And matter of fact, some of them would really be willing to do so. I share this story because oftentimes we're trying to build our business and make money. And if we're going into a industry where there's a lot of competition, yet nothing that differentiates us, it's a race to the bottom. And there's always going to be some new people who are willing to do it for less unless we find a way to differentiate ourselves and really make our value stand out. And there's two ways that you can do this. One is you really need to be so invested in your craft. It's not enough to say you want to be a good coach or a good consultant or a good business. You have to be great at it so that you stand out as a product. Because one of the coaches very much known in our circles, for example, would be someone like Rich Litvin. The man wrote books, coaches people and charges hundreds of thousands of dollars to do that, trains a ton of other coaches as well. And so to be coached by a Rich Litvin or a Marshall Goldsmith actually happens to be something of a premium. And there's less people that are at that level that we would feel confident about getting coaching services from. So we need to double down on our quality. And that's just to get us out of the starting gate. The other thing we have to take into consideration is realizing that the market is for the person that is acquiring the client. See, myself, by just closing, collecting, and being a salesperson, made it so that I had access to the resources. And anyone who specializes and learns the skill of sales happens to be in a powerful position to be able to command the market. That's why publishers have huge power in the marketplace because they have the distribution, they have the relationship with the clients, and there's so much value in that. So the point I want to make here is just this trend where only a few are getting all of the leads and we need to find a way that we can build our ecosystem that takes advantage of that. You'll have to make a choice. If you're getting into an industry and you want to be a specialist or you want to fo focus on your craft, there are so many other people that are doing the same that you really need to become the absolute best to be able to differentiate yourself and do well in whatever industry that you are in. Good doesn't cut it. And second is if you can appreciate that if you learn the power of sales, you will actually command much more power in the marketplace. And if there's one trend that I'm seeing happening right now in the space of online educators is five years ago, 
Everybody was looking for masters who could build these funnels that were automated. Funnels being ways that you could run ads to certain people where you would capture their email, they would receive certain emails, they would go through webinars, most of it being automated. And at the end of it, there would be a purchase and we could build this to be autopilot. That world doesn't exist as much anymore because with the rise of AI and a lot of this technology, everybody can build a funnel. So what makes you stand out? the human element that you can add into these processes of sales and marketing, which is why salespeople are more in demand than ever. People that can empathize, connect, listen, understand, and close. And if you can do it with love, you will have a skill that will not be replaced anytime soon. Keep your humanity, keep learning about sales, and be the best at what you do.